What's up everyone, Mike here. So down in the mushroom lab today, and I got a great video for you guys. Today we're gonna talk about how you can make a simple honey liquid culture recipe. Now I make liquid culture using several different recipes. My favorite is actually malt and dextrose, and I will have a video on that in the next few days here, so stay tuned for that, that one's coming up. But today is just a great, simple, easy recipe anyone can use to make liquid culture involving just honey and water, all right? Now, I also did a short on this recipe, and I'm just going to link that in the description box below in case anyone wants to check out the short. It's just a cool little video to watch, and you'll get the basic concept from it. But this is the full form content about how you can make honey liquid culture. And I think the main benefit of this is just the fact that you can just use two simple ingredients, honey and water, and you can exponentially increase your mycelium production. And liquid culture is essentially a pathway to create infinite mycelial biomass leading to infinite mushroom production. So uh, what I'm gonna show you, here's the two different types. I've basically got, I've got a dex, this is dextrose and malt right here, okay? And then this one right here, in this hand, this is my honey liquid culture, all right? So you can see, there's a little difference between color, clarity and a few other things and there's reasons why I do choose to use that dextrose and malt recipe pretty much on a regular basis for myself but um, one of the cool things like I said about honey is just the fact it's only honey and water if, if you got a beehive you can go and uh, use your own bee honey every year um, from your hives to make your liquid culture I think that would be really neat but um, anyway like I said it's just a simple one ingredient honey and water we're gonna use 50 grams of honey to a thousand milliliters of water and that'll be basically it for the recipe. So let me show you guys how I put this together. Are you ready? Let's get it. All right, everyone. So the first thing I did here was weigh out 50 grams of honey in each jar. Now I'm taking 1,000 milliliters of water and I'm putting that in the blender. And then I will put 50 grams of honey. So just one of those little jars, I'll put that into the blender and then we will blend it so we have a nice solution. Now, like I said, the beauty of this is it's just two ingredients, honey and water. And I will have a video later on this week about how you can supercharge your honey liquid culture in case you guys want to add another ingredient to this just to make that mycelium blast off a little bit more. So anyway, after we add that to the blender, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, put the lid on that blender. Like I said, we're going to blend it up. Then we're going to get ready to distribute it amongst our jars that we're going to sterilize the liquid culture in, okay? So now I'll take two one-quart mason jars and I will distribute my solution amongst the two jars. So just pour it in evenly. And then after we distribute the solution in these jars, we're going to make sure we add a magnetic stir bar inside each jar, okay? So do not forget to put the magnetic stir bars in. So there we are, I'm plopping them in right now. And now it's time to fasten a lid onto these jars. So this is the lid that I've made for my liquid culture jars. It's a very simple, low-tech, easy lid to make. And I've got a link in the description box below about how you can make your own liquid culture lid. So check that out if you need to. And now we're just going to sterilize our solution, okay? So we're going to pressure cook these for 30 minutes at 15 PSI to sterilize our liquid culture. We are pressure cooking them right now. After you finish the sterilization process, allow your jars to cool to room temperature and then you can inoculate them with a starter culture like the liquid culture I'm using right here. I will also have videos in the future about inoculating your LC you make with agar or a tissue biopsy, so stay tuned for those. All right, everyone, so that was the honey liquid culture recipe. Uh, I hope you guys all thought that was nice, simple, easy. I'm pretty sure most of everyone can accomplish that, like I said. Um, I'm putting the short in the description box below on how to make a honey liquid culture, and I also have a short in the description box below, too, on how you can make your own liquid culture jar lid. So you guys could create your own liquid culture uh, literally from this video and the shorts below, and um, you should have no problem with it. I think you'll all do great. Now I want to say too, before we end this video, there is a way you can easily supercharge your honey liquid culture recipe with just one simple ingredient too, okay? So later this week, I will be posting up a video about how to supercharge your honey liquid culture. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be a really fun video. It's, um, I got some special honey for it too. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to share that with you guys. So um, tune in for that video. But I hope you guys all found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please drop it a like. If you have any questions, just put it below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But that's all I got for you on this one. And I will catch you on the next one.